I want to talk in this short video about tabs. Tabs are simply predefined locations on the line of text in your OpenOffice.org writer screen. All tabs really do is they allow you to move quickly across the line of text to the location defined by the tab. There are two advantages to using tabs. One is that tabs always make a precise column. You may have experienced trying to use spacebar to line text up and seeing that it doesn't always do quite the job you're looking for. The other advantage of tabs is that you can also align text in columns on the center, on the decimal, and on the right edge, and I'll show you how to do that. To enter the white space that is the tab, just press the tab key on the keyboard. When you do that, OpenOffice.org inserts a non-printing character that appears on your screen as the arrow key shown here on the slide. Using the default tabs is very simple. Just click the tab key, you see the little non-printing character appears. Type, tab again, type, tab again. As you can see, the default tab positions are shown on the ruler every half inch. A left tab lines up all the text at that column position at, predictably enough, the left-hand side. Let me show you. Clicking the tab key to move to the left tab. And enter and tab again. Enter and tab again. And you see that we have text lined up precisely at the position of the left tab in the ruler. This is a custom left tab. I'll show you how to set that in a moment. I just want to quickly show you the operation of the right aligned tab. Here we go, putting in the tab key and typing tab. And so you see that on this video, we have the right tab custom set in the ruler, and we have the tab text lining up on the right side. So that's as simple as that. This is the operation of the center tab. Now, when I type, especially if I make mistakes, you see that the text is centered under the location of the custom center tab in the room. And the final tab I want to show you is the decimal tab. This is used for the lining up numerical data. And what happens is it lines up predictably enough on the decimal point. So there you see that where we have the decimal tab location, the numbers line up very nicely on the decimal point, and it's immediately apparent the relative values of the numbers. Rather than lining them up at the beginning or the end of the number, the value is more clear when we line them up on the decimal. On the screen, I have a list of information of laptops for sale currently at newegg.com. As you can see, this is a good example of a list of information that isn't working well separated using the default tabs. And the reason for that is the laptop names vary so much in length. So I'm going to show you how to use custom tabs to quickly make this look much better and much easier to read. So we'll begin by selecting all five paragraphs in the list. Tabs are a paragraph level formatting option, so 
we have to either be in the paragraph or if we're working with more than one paragraph, select all the paragraphs. The first tab I want to set is a left tab. Over here at this button is where you set the select the different tab options. The L icon is for the left tab. If I click, I see the backwards L, that's the right tab. And then we have the upside down T with a dot, that's the decimal tab. And now just the upside down T, that's the center tab. If I click again, it cycles back to the left tab. And with all the paragraphs selected, I'm going to click on the two to set the first left tab there. As you can see in all the selected paragraphs, that tab became active. All the CPU speeds have lined up very nicely. And all of the default tabs preceding that new custom tab have been removed. Now I'll click on 3 to set a left tab there, and on 4 to set a left tab there. Finally, for the, num for the prices, I need a decimal tab. And I click on, let's click on 5.5, and, and that lines up there. As I look at my finished work, I think, hmm, this might be nicer with a decimal tab. So I'm going to right click on the left tab and choose decimal. Very quick little explanation of deleting and changing tabs. I did show you how to change the tab type by right clicking. You can also remove a tab entirely by just pointing to it and dragging it off the ruler, and then it's gone. You can move a tab by dragging it along the ruler. And as you'll see, the editor, the text that's controlled by the tab that is selected is also moved. You cannot delete a default tab. It stays there. Only a custom tab. There will be times when you need some of the options that are only available on the tabs dialog box rather than on the directly from the ruler. Let me show you. Can we the format paragraph? I'm choosing the tabs tab. I'm going to work with this tab here at almost six inches. You can see it's at 5.94 to be precise. So I'm going to click on it to make it the tab I'm working with. Decimal is already selected, but I am going to change the character. I'm going to have this tab, this column line up on the dollar symbol instead of on the decimal place. And I'm going to fill the preceding white space leading to it with periods. I could choose a custom character, but I don't need to. This option is great. And I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that now we have the white space filled with trailing periods and the line is lined up on the dollar symbol. That works well if it's all the same length number. 